All right, this is a battle uh, <coughs> where I was divisioned up with Yoda Oi on a, in what we call Leningrad cowboy time. And you're going to see the game from both our uh, vantage points throughout the video. My name will be down in the lower right corner. Yoda's will appear in the upper left when it's changed since we're playing the same ship. And uh, this was a fun one, definitely. Back over to Yoda. One thing you'll notice when uh, Yoda is playing, or the camera's on him, he, he's, like, right at the beginning of this, he'll be looking around at the ship disposition on our team, checking out the map. His head's constantly on a swivel, and I think that comes from his days of being a pilot. And he still is one. But I think that's where that, ooh, beer, where that come from? comes from. All right, in we go. We've, uh, in, and this was a uh, game that took place on one of my live streams over at uh, Twitch. More than welcome to come over and ch check that stuff out. Links will be down below. But uh, we were voice comming that uh, we're going to go over to C, try and just dip into it, see what happens, see uh, if the enemy reveals themselves. Atlanta pops radar a little early, I think, but it's neither here nor there. All right, enemy cruiser is the first to be spotted. Yoda goes in. Enemy heavy, back on the decap. Our other destroyer in the oh, there's a Mahan. So let the crossfire begin. Yoda pops smoke. Since he's been spotted, I think he's resolved to push out and keep this guy lit. I'm pulling up into his smoke. And there we go. Back over to me. And the Mahan is going to do something that panics anybody, but destroyer players in particular. He's going to run aground. So I lose. Now I get... A couple more hits on him, but now I don't have a lock, so we're just spraying the smoke about where he should be to convince him, yeah, stay out of sea. And we keep this on. There go my torps. We keep this up for a little bit. I don't think we secure any more round hits on him. But so long as he's hearing those shells and possibly hearing torps, it will uh, hopefully convince him to, to stay out. Now, we are contested again, I believe. Yep, looks like it. Sea camp looks as though it is not moving for us. So we go back over to Yoda. He's backing a ship up. He's got a minute and 30 before he's got smoke, but I have mine. I'm not sure. I don't believe I pop mine to keep the smoke going in C. I think I just wait for his to uh, run out and I push up a little bit. Yoda's coming back around to C. I've resolved I'm going to push forward on this guy. Yoda's coming up, and he actually does a nice little thing where he could have stopped there and used it, but those docks there, uh, I don't believe torpedoes would go through those docks, so he comes up still able to get shots if that guy is directly ahead of him, but won't take uh, torpedoes. But he comes back in to help with the cap. Cap is moving again, so the Mahan's off of it. And we get the cap, and then the Mahan is back. And round two. Crossfire again, Yoda's engines go down. But he has last stand, which is something every destroyer player should have. And the Monahan snipes in. For the first of several kill secures, 
Yoda uh, would have had a Kraken in this game easily with all the kill secures that happened to him. Breton takes a, a pot shot at him. He is still detected. I have popped smoke and called for Yoda to come over and we resolved to use the smoke as long as the uh, Monahan survived. So back over to me. We start harassing the Colorado. Monahan is <clears throat> living on very borrowed time. Colorado secondaries are opening up on him. Monahan torps turn the Colorado in and Monahan gets away with it. He's down to, I think, 222 health points. He's not going to live forever. And then we become the angry smoke cloud. I think Yoda shoots at another... I don't, he was shooting at another target of opportunity, but now we have just decided to completely focus on this Colorado. I send out torps. I know smoke's starting to come down in 30 seconds, so I'm going to move out. Yoda pops out. Oh, and the Monahan goes down. Oh, that's the schoon. Squana. I don't know. Excellent will kill me for saying it. Yoda has four, four folks looking at him, and... Uh, trying to do some bad touches and he gets out of gun range or out of visual no torps hit the Colorado we keep getting uh, battleship sized holes left our Furutaka goes down to the enemy uh, Koenig I call out to Yoda I'll be cutting across his bow And we do a nice little ballet there. Yoda turning around as well. And the sharks are circling. His torps are out. Doesn't hit the Colorado. But finds another target. The enemy schoon goes down. And now it's the Colorado's turn in the uh, Leningrad Cowboy Spotlight. I haven't fired yet, I don't believe. Our Atlanta goes down to the enemy Fuso. My torps are going out, and look at that battleship-sized hole in this spread. <sighs> Two fires at least on the Colorado now. I open up. Oh, I was taking a round from that Matsuki. I returned in kind, and then Yoda opens up as well. And starts to move just in case we get torps coming in. Back over to me. There he is. This is me taking the chunk out of him. There it is. Took down his engine. He's repaired. Get a couple more pops into him. And then back to the Colorado. I don't have anything that's going to be firing on me from the left side that I can tell. So. The uh, information and lead overload on the uh, Colorado right now is enough that I feel I can get some rounds in. Get a fire. And here's another one. Could Yoda get it? I couldn't get it. Yoda couldn't get it. I am detected, which has to be the Matsuki. I note the uh, enemy ships that are trying to flank and that they're a bit out of position to contest me if I decide to go down to the B cap and then the D cap. <clears throat> I 
Yoda opening up on the Matsuki. Can I get him? No. I think that would be three now. So he'd be up to four. The Matsuki Torps coming out. Don't think they have the legs to get him. I think Yoda is trying to get back over to help this Nagato in a second. Hoping he'll just go gun silent and he can pop smoke for him. Several ships open up on Yoda for a second there. Unfortunately, this Nagato is not doing well. But Yoda's trying his level best to get over there and help this guy. He's got two fires on him. Yoda's got the engine boost on. Nagato is in a crossfire. And not enough. And I think one of the guys on the enemy team fired right after he died. Shots dropped short because they lost the lock and nearly took Yoda out. I've pushed down to the B cap. And am resolving to go to D cap because we are down a ship or two. And we are definitely down on points. So I figure even if I just got down to the B cap and stopped points, I'm helping the team. Yoda drops on the Duke of York. I'm well on my way through B and capping. Yoda opens up on the uh, Konigsberg. Yes. I get B. Yoda pushing up a little bit. Gets a fire, I believe, on the Konigsberg. And his torps are out on the Duke of York. See what happens there. Torp, two torps, I believe, and flood, or a torp and a flood. In a urn's confederate out of that. Flood is stuck. And this is me just taking a casual Sunday stroll through the enemy decap. Ooh, Nagato gets the Konigsberg that Yoda was working on. And I think I'm saying to Yoda, I'm probably going to head back up towards C just in case they come back around on it. Back over to Yoda, work, working on the uh, Duke of York here. Duke of York takes down our Queen Elizabeth, so it's our two heavies up on A and me and Yoda. Yoda gets a fire. And it looks like it's sticking. Now, so far, the other two enemy ships have not turned fire on Yoda. They're looking at the heavies who are now in a pincer. Yoda's rounds are out. He's trying. He's got a fire. He's got 900 health points. That would have been a Kraken. Now firing on the other enemy battleship. Doing his best. And you can see why Yoda s sings the virtues of the Leningrad whenever he can. It, it, according to him, it is the best ship in the game. Another one. So he would have had a Kraken by now if he takes this guy down. That would be six that he could have had. And... Oh! Shatters. And... 
I do believe that Nagato takes him down. And I am heading back up now. Yeah, the Nagato is pushing up. Breton is in C. We are we are up on points finally. We are down on ships. We lose. We lost. Uh, wasn't the Nagato? He's still with us. I think. Uh, okay, the Breton finally goes down. I tap the Breton for uh, a reset on the cap. Engine boost up. I'm gonna go set up a tag team on this guy. Here he comes. We've finally picked up on points, but it's just me and Yoda now. And they are on two caps. And pushing for the other two. We're outnumbered uh, four to one. Got a piece of him. They get C. Yoda's coming up. I'm pushing just in case torpedoes come in on my smoke. And we both uh, start the crossfire, I believe, here. AP out. There's from Yoda. That's us firing at the same time. Both going AP on him. He's looking at Yoda as the lower health target. We lose contact with him, but have pushed him off. And I'm fairly certain I'm communicating that the Icarus is on B. I'm going to head back since I have the larger health pool. And Yoda will do what he can to take care of uh, C. Possibly just uh, keeping that cruiser pushing out and away from the cap. And some blind fire comes in. And Yoda's pushing up. If he gets lucky, he can take out that uh, Emil. B is just about down. We will be down to one cap. Now there's the enemy Fuso. Full health, or relatively full health. And the Breton. Enemy has B, and I am trying to get over there. I tell Yoda to keep an eye on that gap. There's the blind fire, and here I go. I know he was on B. I'm not sure where he's at, though. He's obviously not popped out, so I'm getting set to see if he... Pops up right at this corner. And yeah, that was a little closer than I wanted him to be. I should be going guns here, but I he hasn't dumped torps yet. I've turned out. He hasn't dumped torps yet. And he uses single launch. He didn't use a spread. And uh, he's dead. Back over to Yoda. He's harassing the Fuso. While I'm trying to get my ship not stuck on an island and go back into B to stop points. Yoda is stopping points on C. Yoda thinks that guy's going to come through that gap. But Yoda's about to have the same kind of surprise that I did. Where somebody was not quite where you expected them. Keep in mind he's got 4,100 health points. He's about to get C. I give a salute out to the enemy team. Yoda's pushing forward ever so slowly. He's got C. Torps don't hit anything over in that channel. 
head on a swivel, and he's detected, but it's not the Fuso. The Fuso's too far. He gets a torp into the Fuso, takes a hit. He's down to 2,600, and there is the Breton. He's lost a turret. 795 versus 2,600. Yoda gets him, but is now probably in just about the same spot that Mahan was. Spotted by a Fuso with 2,600 health points and trying to get out of there. <laughs> And here he goes. Can he do it? Can he pull it off? Here comes the salvo. And he misses. Yoda dumps torps. Tries not to get hung up here in a second on the uh, corpse of his enemy. Gets a fire. Gets it defended. It's 965 to 747. Two destroyers versus two battleships. And he is hugging that island. And the countdown clock begins, and we pulled it off. And over on my side, I'm harassing the uh, Koenig who's coming in. But this was a, a fun game. I pop smoke as a decoy and to cover as I try and get out of here. Koenig fires on the smoke. Torp goes in, get a flood. And there's the countdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll try and get some more videos up, but uh, shout out to Yoda for the excellent team play and sending me the replay and a salute salvo to the enemy. <laughs> So I wanted to tell you about uh, a subscription service that I'm a part of, which is Humble Bundle. For 12 bucks a month, I get a choice of uh, free games. I have 10 free games I can choose from there that you just saw. And you can see some of the previous months and like uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War for free. It's a $12 a month subscription. And we will be doing a giveaway from time to time of the 20% code that I can hand out since I am an affiliate with them. If you buy a game using my link, I don't get any real money, but I get eight bucks off of games in their store. So you can taunt me with money that I can't use on anything else and spend in the real world if that's the kind of person you are. But here you can see software development, land detect job, music producer, coding starter kit. Sometimes they have eBooks. Sometimes they even have uh, miniatures printable files. And here you can see for the Capcom Mega Bundle, it's $305 worth of games. For a dollar, you get four free games. For 20 or 11 bucks, you get four free and two at 50% off. And then for another 20, you get all of that and six more games. And you can choose to have some of your purchase go to charities. So I'll put the link. It is down below on my Twitch channel, and I usually put it down below on my YouTube channel. And I hope you guys will go check it out. And, oh, I think the music's starting to play, so that means that uh, I've got to go here. Enjoy the music.